the, the overall design flow. So, so chip, overall, de- chip design flow basically. So today we intend to cover chip design flow. Am I right? Yes, sir. And different abstractions linked to it. So how many of us remember uh, what kind of stages are there in our design flow? First stage was design analysis. Mm-hmm. Design implementation. And design implementation. Okay. So the design verification. The boundary part and characterization. Then characterization. Characterization. Okay, good. I'm happy. Uh, you remember quite a bit. So, yes, the the first stage, in fact, was or is design analysis, where uh, there are different. Uh, so we will go into each of these stages one by one and look at what each step entails. Okay, and uh, don't hesitate to stop me, ask questions, or add anything uh, if you feel like. Okay. So the first stage is design analysis, where the first step is uh, requirement analysis. So what do you understand by requirement analysis? What do you think is requirement analysis? The customer requirement, I think, specifications that we want in, in the circuit. So basically demand of the market, what exactly is required in the market? Yeah, so over here, what we are looking at is, what is it that the uh, customer would pay for is would be willing to pay for for the price point where we want to target our product. Hmm? So uh, if if I want to come up with the next generation of uh, iPhone 12, or uh, you know iPhone for example now iPhone 13, what would the customer be willing to pay the premium for next year? So that would become my requirement, hmm? and. Then we do the next step, which is called the function, functional and test specifications. What would come into this, according to you? To test the functionality of our design on the basis of requirements. So what we test required by our design? What kind of functions we require? Yes, what kind of functionality is required? For example, you may say, that uh, you know when apple came up with this infrared face recognition feature at that time what functionality is required you need to understand that okay it has to be infrared and it should it should recognize the face and it should unlock the screen if the face recognition is say above uh, or a face matches above say 80 percent it should also unlock the screen or 90 percent it should also unlock the screen and very importantly, when you define the functional specifications, you also define how will you test that your device is meeting those specifications in various conditions. So as soon as you define the functionality, how to test it is also defined simultaneously. This is something which is not commonly understood and done. Are you able to appreciate the significance of this aspect? Sir, I'm not able to understand how this test specification can be introduced here. I mean, okay. So uh, let us take the same feature, the face recognition feature that you're talking about. Hmm? So how would you test this camera now? If I want to say that Apple would have this camera in it, how would you test it? Hmm. So most probably I would be taking some samples of pictures or photos and then seeing the quality or the how, what the output is, output is then analyzing yeah. that output. So I may say that I will take 10,000 photos of one person. Okay. And when any of those 10,000 photos is put in front of this camera system, it should be able to recognize it as the right person and should unlock the screen. That could be one way to test it. Okay, okay. So, like, uh, we are st- uh, specifying the test specification from an uh, overview, overall, like from the functional abstract. perspective. From the functional perspective, this okay, is the functionality okay. I wanted. How do I test that this functionality is being met? Okay, okay, okay. Hello. 
because finally what uh, whether some other functionality happens or not happens doesn't matter functionality is that, that i am selling to my customer should definitely work fine and i should know how to test it this i should know early on when even when i am defining the specification okay and so the functionality you are talking about it is in terms of specification like uh... it needs to have a 40 megapixel camera or should be able to detect that that in terms of yes so it is specifications so functional specifications and test specifications functional specifications would say it should be infrared it should be able to identify the person even in uh, in a ambient light of uh, let us say a dark room and uh, it should be able to uh, you know differentiate between two brothers for example who look very much alike but are not twins Okay, okay. So, like, what the the kind of thing we see in the ads of, uh, basically. That is, yeah, that is one aspect of it. So, I gave okay. you an Apple example and the face recognition example because that you already see in the ads and it is easy to relate to them. Yes. But yes. for any chip, even if you're if you have to design an FPGA, okay, for even for an FPGA, the user would have the specification that its DDR should operate at two uh, gigahertz. that it should be able to support this kind of throughput it should be able to give this kind of uh, uh, you know dry stone mix per second whatever okay okay so that also comes here that thing okay so okay because okay. i gave you a user i i took the example of an apple face recognition thing i was uh, i gave test specifications for that but when i talk of functional specs which which does not really materialize into the user or a consumer application then i will anyway have technical functional specifications there okay okay so so here also the engineer will be working engineering team would be working to define the specifications yes okay so so we will define the specification in consultation with the customer who is going to use the product and also the test specifications in consultation with the customer dipank you had raised your hand hi sir am i audible yes you are audible Uh, sir, I had uh, a simple doubt that if we are too uh, strict to define the verification or the testing method in the beginning, but if the specification changes in at a later stage, then won't it be a tedious task to repeat so you tell everything? Me, yeah, you tell me one thing: if the specification changes, you anyways need to need to you know come back to the initial phase. So let us say you were in this stage. At this point of yes, time, sir. the customer said, "No, no, I do not want this camera." to work in infrared light i now want this camera to work at uh, regular light with regular light i want a laser to be generated there so do you realize that everything would change for you also the kind of energy that your uh, image sensors will now capture will be very different from what they would capture in an infrared light scenario yes hmm? yes so you will anyway need to come back to this stage again because the functional specifications have changed Yes. Okay. I was just concerned about the timing part. Yeah. Basically, if the functional specifications are changing, everything would need to be redefined. Okay. Okay. And as as soon as you change the functional specification, test specification should also be reviewed all over. So my and my actually uh, point was that uh, maybe we can, if we are a bit mature state, then we can define how to test. because then we will be sure that this is like the final product specs required no change can be done beyond that as a designer you may want that but as a customer would you want that suppose let us put it like this you want to go and order a double bed for your room hmm. yes. and you want it to be 6 feet by 6 uh, feet okay now would you would you give the specification to the to the carpenter right away or say that okay i wanted to be 6 feet by 6 feet but i will tell you how i will measure 6 feet uh, after you have you know um, cut the plywood no yeah thank god you know i will tell you which scale you are going to use right away so that he also uses the same scale is it not right 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 sir right so the test specifications have to be built alongside functional specifications there is no other way okay Sure. and this is what many times i see designers miss out on they think only in terms of functional specification they forget that test specification is equally important to be defined right there 
correct 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 got it thank you yeah sir do we actually making a hardware and then testing it or something else mm, you tell me this yeah, is a actually, this is a chip design flow na entire entire thing is a chip design flow is it not yes sir so in this flow we will actually you actually get silicon in your uh, cell phones is it not yeah so but, but uh, starting starting procedure na sir do we actually making i'm sorry like uh, the wafer fabrication and all things are later on so are we actually making it in the initial stages and then testing it we are making the specifications moin अभी तो हम स्पेसिफिकेशंस बता रहे हैं फॉर एग्जांपल जो भी कारपेंटर वाला एग्जांपल दिया था इन दिस व्हाट विड बी से वी सेड दैट आई विल टेल द कारपेंटर आई वांट अ बेड डबल बेड व्हिच इज 6 फीट बाय 6 फीट एंड दैट आई विल मेजर 6 फीट बाय यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर स्केल आई हैव नॉट बिल्ट द बेड येट आई हैव नॉट इवन परचेज द प्लाईवुड येट बट आई नो व्हाट आई वांट इन माय बेडरूम दैट्स वेयर or oh, test uh, testing means is it a simulation or something related to this no testing so for a carpenter thing you will want to actually measure physically the the dimensions of your bed na not the physical thing that you're getting is working exactly the way it was intended to be right yes sir so you will actually have to characterize and test the silicon wafers that are out or whatever system it is yes sir vaishnav sir uh, uh, yes sir so you mean to say that we are just giving the specifications but not uh, actually testing them I mean, like functional and test specifications we yeah. are just mentioning them what do we test abhi to abhi to product design shuru hi nahi hua mm, yeah the product design has not even started yet what do we test we are mm. simply telling this is how we will test okay 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 tanjal so basically this all the documentation part na Uh, yes this is in a way the specification the statement of work creation part this is still just documentation no design implementation yet yes okay okay in fact just after this step if you look the step is called partition and plan what do you think this means uh dividing the whole strategy uh dividing of implementation the... dividing the whole strategy of how to implement all the things related with it yeah so some for example if you go back to the apple face recognition example in that particular example it will mean which team will do what kind of work who will design that laser the infrared laser who will design the uh, the hardware the chip who will write the software which does the recognition or which does the analysis okay who will integrate all of it and the plan as to by when will different milestones or different such partitions be completed so that i finally have my apple phone uh, available in the market by thanksgiving so that people can purchase it for christmas yes sir so that is partitioning and planning all of this the design has not even started okay sir okay any question still here yes sir sir if you talk about sir in memory sir when we say uh, for a room that uh, when when we say that uh, we want to make the connections that we want to i mean diffuse the transistor in in the highest layers so basically that is uh, i mean in that context we say that if the customer uh, says that now uh, in the data stage of uh, uh, the uh, making the memory at that point of time if the customer says i want this this code to be embedded and not the one that i uh, gave i mean I, i have given to you so is that also not the functional uh, specification that is being uh, i mean changed and then we are not really going to the design analysis uh, once again we are just changing the connections so it depends kadam the like uh... it uh, depends how big a change the user is asking for and and what is the stage of the design 
if the change is really that doesn't require any change in the design implementation you will not go back to the scratch board you know the the drawing board all over again but if the specification change is very significant then you will need to do that and you should be aware of this that you cannot really change specification after the implementation has uh, begun or has kind of closed whatever because that means a huge uh, turn around time it can mean a huge turn around time yes hmm? so usually a good amount of time is spent on this stage the design analysis stage because if this is not done correctly all the effort that goes subsequently so this effort 10 people will do but the design implementation effort for example if it's about a intel uh, microprocessor uh, the typical effort that goes into a typical uh, a microprocessor is 200 man years 300 man years so so many people working across multiple teams across with their various sites uh, are involved in making a full intel microprocessor and if the first phase design analysis phase is not good enough is 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 kind of carelessly done then all those 200 man year effort can simply go down the drain you will come up with a product which will not sell in the market so this is one of the most important parts so in this part what kind of things do you get to do in india uh, so since there are very few end to end product manufacturers in the country uh, not much of this job gets done in india but in every company whether it is ti or st or samsung or micron uh, all these three kinds of jobs exist they typically exist in the headquarters samsung has this kind of jobs in korea st has these kinds of jobs in italy and france ti has them in the us micron has them in the us so the, these kind of this kind of design analysis or product definition thing is is primarily in the headquarters or then somewhere very close to the customer wherever they are getting their maximum sales from they would have some some such jobs in that place also okay once the product specification animesh you wanted to ask something Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. So, yeah, uh, sir, I wanted to ask if uh, these test specifications, right? Uh, if we would like to test it on, a, uh, for example, what we were talking about an Apple Air uh, face recognition system, if we would like to test uh, first uh, that application on an FPGA which is reconfigurable before making try trying to uh, uh, release these test specifications. we would want to test it on an fpga right before mm -hmm. starting the chip um, we don't know so uh, we will come where the fpga and such kind of work would come in we can we can i will i will share about where we can do that emulation part <laughs> okay uh, so abhi nahi ab abhi when when the customer is defining the specification mm -hmm. he has no clue how you would implement it he is simply telling okay, you okay. that i want this okay okay only when you enter into the design implementation phase you will look at how to validate and verify it okay fpga is largely about verifying your design is it not yes sir yes sir you need to have a design first mm -hmm. so yes. a design entry has to happen before that okay okay hmm yes sir so in the design implementation stage 